here the Massachusetts delegation at the Democratic National Convention 2012 in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're here the Attorney General of the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Martha Coakley. Attorney General, great to have Good you to here. You. Good, Good to see you. you. Great convention. It has been a great convention. Fabulous. I want to I want to talk to you about an issue that has been affecting a lot of attorney generals around the country. And we just talked to, to Don Siegelman, who's in, a, in an incredible, awful situation. But the law is the law. And we are getting scenarios with voting purgers and, and, and all the SEC stuff. You know, a lot has come now to the legislative process, but it goes to the attorney general's office. And some states have different powers than others. But tell me, it seems like every every day there is a new issue that's coming before your desk. Has it changed? Are we now in, in a more process where there are organizations attacking certain states on voting issues, on other issues? I do think every time in this four-year cycle, and especially in the last sort of four or five cycles, we've seen an increase in complaints. But keep in mind, one of the big issues the Republicans have raised is that, oh, we have to prevent voter fraud. We need, and you know, it's a non, it's, it is, it's a non-issue. It is a solution in search of a problem yes. that doesn't exist. The number of voter fraud cases have been zero to none. Um, they're rare, and this is not about protecting voter fraud. It is making sure, I think, that they keep people away from the rolls that they don't want voting. And so Democrats are about protecting the right to vote. Look, we don't care who people vote for, right? That's what this country is about. Uh, we're talking a little bit about voter purging and, and, uh, and this idea that this is voter fraud, which is ridiculous and been proven in a lot of different cases. What is Massachusetts doing that other states have to do to make sure that it doesn't happen? Well, one of the things we put in place is that we want to ensure that if there's any challenge at all to somebody voting, they get to do a provisional ballot. And so we know that we can always check later. If someone goes and is turned away and they don't vote, we can never recapture that. If there's a question about it and they do a provisional ballot, we can always check that out later. But we want to make sure every vote is cast and every vote is counted in Massachusetts. One other issue that's come around your table, again with Secretary Galvin as well, is the issue of the SEC and the securities exchange and looking at Wall Street and so forth. How is that in Massachusetts? You get the whole Madoff case, you have other issues that have come across your desk. Where are we in, in, in looking at reform here? Well, both the Secretary of State and I have jurisdiction over these issues. We've been active, for instance, in going after auction rate securities sold to cities and towns. We brought money back on that score. We've gone after banks um, for predatory lending and for the securitization of it. And frankly, we brought lots of lawsuits here that have helped in some way lead to a national settlement to get money back to prevent unnecessary foreclosures. We're going to continue that work because we still have foreclosures going on. We want to make sure people stay in their homes. Advice. I know it was a tough race for you a couple of years ago, but do you have uh, Scott Brunner in again against another woman, Elizabeth Warren? She's got a big speech tonight. Your thoughts? Um, she's going to do a great job tonight. She's working really hard. It's going to be a close race, but she's working on the issues that I believe in and I think most people in Massachusetts want to see protecting the middle class protect, you know making sure that financial issues are dealt with in Washington she's a real champion for the middle class and I think she'll hit a home run tonight and she'll get elected in November Michelle Obama last night proved uh, women can be as tough and congenial as, as anyone before does this sort of continue the idea having uh, you know Massachusetts progressive, you know, showing in the country that a woman in Massachusetts can win statewide? Absolutely. Look, it, it's it's women can be tough and they can be smart. They should be at the table. They will be at the table. And we're going to see a victory for Elizabeth Warren. And we're going to continue to see women at the table in politics. Thank you so much. Thank you for your service. Great seeing you.